In this week's check-in, I will share more information about our ongoing efforts to plan for Term 4 and beyond as we continue to support our FBISD community in these extraordinary times. And with that in mind, I want to begin by first addressing the academic pivots that many of our campuses have experienced in recent weeks. As you may be aware, Fort Bend ISD has had to make some challenging decisions to pivot many schools to online learning over the last few weeks. These actions were taken to ensure a healthy and safe environment for students and staff to learn and work as there has been a significant impact on business continuity at many schools across the district. We acknowledge that these pivots have required students, parents, and staff to be adaptable to accommodate these temporary changes, and your willingness to be flexible is commendable and appreciated. With that said, some parents have expressed concern and frustration over the decision to pivot their child's school when the number of positive COVID-19 cases at the school are low. It's important for our community to understand that the number of positive cases is not the only factor considered when determining to pivot a school. We continuously monitor a wide range of internal and external indicators to determine whether we can continue with face-to-face -face instruction. In addition to the number of positive cases, the number of staff in isolation, quarantine, or on leave are other key factors that must be considered to determine whether a campus can maintain business continuity. A descriptive list of FBISD's pandemic management indicators can be found on our website. In our district, the term business continuity means the unbroken and consistent daily operations that are required to run a school over a period of time. Beyond classroom instruction, there are many other operations such as transportation, child nutrition, and facilities management that must also be taken into consideration. As I shared in last night's board workshop, no one in FBISD enjoys making these decisions. Our campus leaders and staff have worked tirelessly through significant personnel shortages caused by COVID-19. This year, the availability of district personnel has been greatly affected by mandatory isolations and quarantines, and the FBISD substitute pool has also been diminished substantially. Substitutes, paraprofessionals, other teachers, and administrators have filled in the gaps and covered classroom vacancies to serve our students. We have also utilized central office staff to serve as substitutes across the district. And while we have been able to make do and make it through in many circumstances, this type of effort is difficult to sustain, which is why we made the decision to temporarily pivot a substantial number of campuses from face-to-face -face instruction to online learning. During our discussion with board members, I also shared that we are always assessing additional measures that the district can take to alleviate the strain on the system, and I look forward to communicating adjustments to you once we have more to share. During last night's meeting, we also discussed plans to conduct a public hearing about FBISD providing mental health services. This event will be used to share information, answer questions, and get feedback from the public about the health and wellness services that we offer in the district. The board will also entertain comments from the public. Mental health is very important, especially as we all deal with the fatigue of the pandemic and its intrusion into our lives. You can expect to hear more details about the public hearing in the next few weeks. For now, I want to reiterate that FBISD continues to work with our Board of Trustees to ensure we're doing all we can to support student learning in the current year and beyond. This includes planning for the transition to the final grading period of the current school year, as well as our plans for the future. As a reminder, the Learning Model Change Form for Term 4 is open now. For any families who wish to change their learning models for the final grading period, all change requests must be submitted via the form in Skyward Family Access before the form closes on February 11th at 11.59 p.m. This form is only for those families who wish to initiate a change and no action is needed if your child is to stay in their current learning model. 
During the board meeting on February 22nd, we will have a comprehensive discussion with our board about student performance during the first semester and what supports are in place to address our students' needs in both the short and the long term. We also expect that the board will have more information to share about the superintendent's search process. During Monday's meeting, the Board of Trustees identified three search firms to interview. They will meet with these firms next week with plans to select the final firm and take action to approve a contract at an upcoming board meeting. As I close, I want to encourage our students to stay motivated, take each day one at a time, and begin your morning with a fresh, positive outlook. Please reach out to others within our FBISD family if you find yourself in need of assistance or support. We are all in this together.